Okay, hands on challenge time. Let's do this together. Create a visual force page which shows a list of accounts linked to their record pages. So basically this is what we have been doing um, on the trail example, but instead of a contact object, we are doing the account object. So let's do this from the top. The page must be named account list. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to scroll all the way up and goes to my hands on orgs, launch my developer beginner playground and then open my developer console. gear oops gear icon there developer console and make a new visual force page when it's loading come on there we go file new visual force page boom account list all right let's flip back to our challenge scroll all the way down it must reference the account standard controller all right it must have a record set var attribute accounts and it must have a visual force apex repeat so we are not going to use the apex page block table we are going to use the repeat use the var attribute as a stands for account Use the list HTML list tag li apex output link component to link to the respective record detail page. Hint record detail pages can be reached by placing a record ID. Okay. So let's go and create this. I'm gonna scroll up and grab a sample from the trail. This is a good sample, the context one, but we have to modify the, the code and then we're done. Flip back here. Whoops, this is a whole different thing. I'm gonna close this guy. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna close and close this the, from the previous video. So this is what we have, account list. I'm gonna change that. And then this change to account because the standard controller is account and the record set var should be accounts plural and then page block we can say account list. The challenge doesn't require this but we can make it pretty. The ID is account list. list filter we don't have a filter so I'm just gonna delete this whole thing here right boom and this is apex page block well let's just take off the apex page block we don't even need that so we are instructed to use if I go back to the challenge here to use the apex repeat component and the var, the variable to loop or repeat is the a tag. Okay, not a tag, a, just a, the variable name. So let's use apex repeat. So I'm gonna do here, maybe start from here, apex repeat, boom, right? And then the var, is a what about what about the value the value is the object okay the accounts object so accounts so it's going to repeat the set var here okay so it's going to loop all the accounts using this variable and it's going to say a so what's next 
use the list HTML and then output link. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, value. It needs to be like that. Boom. And boom. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Now it's happy. Now I'm gonna list it like the list tag there. List, right? So what's inside the list? I want to put the account name. So what I do is, oh, I can't just do that. It needs me to use Apex output link component to link to the respective record detail page. Okay, let's do Apex output link. So if I do Apex output link there, we have a ID, not, not the ID. I want to use the link itself, the value probably here. The value is a dot id. Okay, so a is this a variable, id is the id, right? Do we have a label? So the record id of the account, do we have a label or no? We don't have label, we have title, target, it's popping up or not. What else do we have? Well, um, oh, okay. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put, uh, this should be like this probably. And this should be um, a dot, oops, a, oops, a, dot name so the name field of the account okay so it's it has a value of the ID and it has the the name is gonna list the name of the account then I'm gonna save that and if I flip back and I think that's it record detail pages can be reached by placing a record ID and I want to target uh, it doesn't require it I want to target the link to a new window. Whoopsie. That means if you click on the account, it's gonna pop up. Okay, it's gonna pop up on a new window. So you do underscore new. So let's take a look here. It's blank because we need to actually pass one ID from the account let's do that so if i go home here and i go to the accounts accounts same thing here burlington um, textiles corp i'm going to copy the id and pass this to my preview and id equals id there. So we have Acme and this is all the accounts we have. And if I click on one, it's going to pop up. Mm, the name can only, what is this? Let me hover over it. Oh, it's the link. Of course. We use the wrong link. If I go back here, record detail page can be reached by placing a record ID at the root of the URL. So my bad, if I go back to my code, the value should have a slash, boom, like that, right? This is the root URL, so this is important, okay? This is important. So if I flip back to make sure you add those, and if I flip back to my preview, which is now gone, what is my preview again? 
is my preview window gone it's gone so i'm going to preview again there and i have to pass the id again otherwise it's going to be blank so if you have blank you will have blank pass the id there okay there if i click on one the url should be like that and it's going to pop up and display the record detail of the account there you go it's just taking a few seconds so dickinson's plc that's what i click right yep let's try gene point here gene point so there you have it this is the result make sure to test it you pass the id here there id equals and use an n sign ampersand sign above the seven key right and id equals that so the code would be like this standard controller account record set where accounts plural and the form you have to have a form and then you do a repeat the variable is a because the challenge asks us to do that you can do whatever here if you if you name it acc like that you would you have to change this to acc and acc right but the challenge wants us to do a maybe because that's how they're going to check it so i'm going to save that so a this the value comes from the account accounts record set var variable and then you're going to loop through it using this a variable then you can do whatever field you want to display or put the value in and that's pretty much it we are going to grab our points boom and i'll see you on the next video which is use static resources well that's pretty boring that's pretty quick okay i'll see you on the next one um bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom